Most certainly, this story will end up on the ID channel under Evil Twins. Okay, so you guys know how I go to Texas to get to Atlanta because I'm actually two hours from Atlanta. Well, today I'm going straight to Texas, Italy, Texas. Shamaya Dayan Shanae Hall and Troy Shea Monet Hall, born on July 11, 1998. They are 25 years old now. People who knew these twins say that they were sweet, nice girls who were very close with one another. They did everything together. So it's not so surprising that on May 23rd, 2017, Trisha texted her ex and told him that she wanted to fight him. He was staying with a female that sources say was actually a female cousin, but Troy Shea wasn't believing that. So she showed up with her twin sister to fight her ex-boyfriend. When the ex-boyfriend opened the door, Troy Shea grabbed his shirt while the twin maced him. While he went to the bathroom to wash his face and re-entered the area that the twins were at, Shamaya, swinging a knife, was telling him, quote, run up, run up. End quote. Now this again is her sister's boyfriend or ex-boyfriend. Apparently, he ran up. Shamaya had stabbed him. He was wounded. She was arrested and charged with aggravated assault. So no, he did not die luckily during this assault. So we see by this time, at least one of the sisters will choose violence. There was also a situation where the sisters were swiping each other's names and using each other's ID to get out of little petty crimes that were happening. So that's another thing that they were doing, but nothing comes, nothing comes as close as what these two sisters did apart from each other. Who would have thought what happened next could be far worse, yes, far worse than even stabbing her twin sister's ex-boyfriend. On June 17th, 2021, while we're in the middle of a pandemic, the mother of the twins was home with a younger brother and his friend. So they were 16 years old at this time in 2021. Trace started to stab her brother's friend. Both the brother and friends, again, are 16. When the brother managed to get out the house and try to get help, call the police, the friend also had managed to get away. When they re-entered the home, Troy Shea was stabbing her seven-year-old daughter, Madison. She stabbed her over 30 times. Madison did absolutely nothing. Unprovoked. But her mother stabbed her anyway. She was arrested, and while she was arrested, she would tell the police that her daughter was being molested. But if that was true, why would you kill her? She never spoke of that again, saying that her daughter was molested, because she even knew that that didn't make any sense herself. Trisha Hall is not fit to stand trial and is currently in a mental health facility. I couldn't find any more information if Trisha had any other children other than Madison. Now, March 5th, the Sunday that just passed us, between Saturday and Sunday, a CPS Child Protective Service worker arrived at the home where Shamaya Hall children were residing. They had been placed in CPS custody and now they were under the guardianship of a relative. It was suspected that Shamaya was having unsupervised visits. I have no idea at this time why the children were even taken away or under the care of someone besides their mother. But the CPS caseworker had shown up unannounced to Harris Street in Italy, Texas, with 
an order to remove all five children at the home. That's when Shemaya allegedly started to stab her five children. Ages four, a set of twins, a six-year-old, and a 13-month-old baby. The caseworker would call 911 at 4 p.m. Authorities arrived by 4.05 p.m. to a very gruesome scene. Five minutes later, authorities found five-year-old twins, a boy and a girl, and a six-year-old boy dead. The other two children, girls, four-year-old and 13-month-old, were flown to a hospital with their stab wounds in an unknown condition as of this moment, March 6. I have no idea. And according to the Ellis County Sheriff's Office, they haven't publicly said the condition of those two very young children. Shemaya is now facing capital murder charges of stabbing five of her children, fatally injuring three. She has been given a $6 million bond, $2 million apiece for each deceased child. So I was looking under the comments, trying to find anything. There's no newer pictures. I couldn't find any pictures of the poor children that are no longer here. I couldn't even find pictures of the twins together. Nothing. So right now, a lot of the people that actually knew them before this, they believe, well, at least one person, I read her comment, she believes that the reason why Shemaya killed her children was because her sister Troy, Troy Shea, did it first. I honestly hope that that is not true. I have seen documentaries and I've read books and I've watched stories where twins who are identical, they actually end up having identical mental health problems. That could be true. If the first sister has some type of mental illness, it's not impossible that the second sister may have it as well. Or they may be both plain evil. <laughs> 